This bill would ultimately decide if Puerto Rico stays independent or becomes the 51st state of the United States. But lawmakers here say it's about time Puerto Rican residents get the same benefits as American citizens. For me, it's not a destination that's my home. For Representative Geraldo Reyes, he visits Puerto Rico twice a year to see his friends and family. This bill, also known as the Puerto Rico Status Act, is personal to him. I want to see this territorial colonization period end. I've always been a pro-independent person. The bill, which passed with some Republican support, would offer Puerto Rico residents three options. Statehood, independence, or independence followed by free association with the United States, which means negotiations over foreign affairs, U.S. citizenship, and use of the U.S. dollar. Lawmakers in Congress and even here in Connecticut say this bill has been talked about repeatedly in the past, but always failed. For it to pass the U.S. House this time, they say, is a big deal. Puerto Ricans on the island, while they're American citizens, don't realize all the same benefits, don't have representation in Congress, can't vote for president. For some residents there, it is not just about the benefits. Deciding the status of Puerto Rico is honoring, it's like Nancy Pelosi said, you know, honoring the dignity and equality. Representative Minnie Gonzalez speaking to Fox 61 from Puerto Rico. She knows all too well on the struggles of her own people who are anxiously waiting for the Senate to vote on this bill where it faces a ticking clock before the end of the year. We're not being treated as American, as a, you know, as American citizen. We're being treated as a second class citizen. The bill will now head to the Senate where they do need at least 60 votes before President Biden can sign this into law. Reporting at the state capitol, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.